Hello guys, it's the Loon Tree here, and why are you uncovered? Uh, I might as well show you off a TNT cannon concept. So this, you, this TNT cannon uses a compressor charge. Let's see it in action. Explode, and then the charge gets sent out. Now, the way that this works, let's just uncover all of this. Actually, I'm going to cover all of that. So, we have the TNT over here. Damn it, I took out all the water. Um, so, well, I read the wiki and apparently there's some stuff about compressor charges. I decided to build a for TNT cannon using compressor charges. This is actually my second design. First one half failed. Well, it kept blowing itself up, essentially. So, this is the rough... Boop. So, there's the... Yeah, that won't kill anything. Yeah. Uh, let me just get redstone on top of here. So, the rough idea of how this works. This TNT, um, when it blows up, will shove all the other TNT closer together, resulting in a further shot. Before this happened, all the, yeah, before I inserted the compressor, it would only shoot out to about here-ish. So let's see this again. Detonate, detonate. Bang, they compress into one. You yeah, have to be careful when I load these up because I don't want it to explode on me. Okay, so they've all gone into one block. And how deep does this go? This is not redstone ready, by the way. This is desert. So I'm not sure how deep this goes. Uh, let me see, is there a way I can essentially hijack this? Nah, whatever, I'll show you how to build it. I build it very weirdly, so I have the water pouring down here. The, um, the compressor charge gets put down first. And then, so, we have the redstone repeater, four ticks, four ticks here as well, then we have it stretched down here. Block here. Three. Yeah. I don't think it really matters if we get it that close. And then that should work. Now, you may have noticed over here I use half slabs in the design. So this is so you can reload without having to top open. And having to top open is potentially dangerous. Now, the last block. I always cap it off. And now let's place the fork the block um the block of which it will come off. I always use the bed because it's the best one for TNT cannons by the, um, from the wiki. I don't know why, I'm not really bothered to ask, but let's cover it up and this should work. So that one detonates, they all get pushed together and then it de gets detonated. I think I might actually need the block here to activate it activate it a bit. Yeah, I think that built No, I built it the exact same height. Have I? I think I have. Yes I have. Okay, if you 
But yeah. Oop. Why do I keep screenshotting? But yeah, you can extend this out as well. You can't exact. Ex you can't extend this out f to infinity. However, one general rule of thumb is how long the redstone will pulse will go for. Currently, it's fourteen, I believe. I'm not sure because I'm not running this in the snapshot. Don't believe me. And if I was running this in the snapshot, let's just slime. Slime ball and slime. Okay. So, yeah. Then let's. Yeah, I just really want to know why this one's slightly buggy, but. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here, but they both work. I'll see if I can get some more cannon designs built. But I like this a lot. Just saying. I mean, I'm not joking you. I like this a lot, lot. Uh. 